Hey there everybody, I'm Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and today we're gonna watch one video by Andrew Schultz. Uh, thank you a lot for him for doing it and he arrives to Russia. He arrived to this place, to our country. I'm by the way from Russia and I learn English on my channel. I have been learning for two years and through this video, vlog, I want to learn it. He is doing like a vlog and uh, some comedy in the same time. Guide tour is fired, doing Putin jokes in Russian, getting our tour guide fired, dropping in Andrew Schultz 44. Let's watch it, maybe it will be interesting because I, I googled his name and uh, then I found that he has a pot, uh, he has this video about Russia. I want to watch it. I I learn English and uh, sometimes I will understand, sometimes not. Okay, let's go watch it together. Have fun, by the way. Let's go. <laughs> to prove that I can uh, speak Russian, я могу говорить по-русски. Сейчас я говорю по-русски. You ты, возможно, меня понимаешь. I said uh, I speak English, I, uh, I speak Russian, I speak Russian, uh, you maybe understand me right now. Are they Russian? Wow! 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 I heard some uh, some yelling of Russian male. Guys, hello, how are you? It's great to be here. We're in fucking Russia, baby. Yes, they are Russian. We I didn't know that uh, so we have fans from Russia of him. We made it. The Cold War is over. <laughs> yes, they are Russian. I can see their faces. Uh... This shit is just crazy, man. Thank you guys very much for coming out. I hope some of you understand me. Uh, we're gonna find out if you do. I was um, doing a little research before I came to Russia because I wanted to like learn a little bit about it. I was watching this uh, documentary that you guys have about global warming. It's called Chernobyl. I don't know if you've seen it. Have you guys yes. seen that? It's pretty hot, man. It gets pretty hot over there. And um, it, was, it was interesting because I was, I was very inspired by the Soviet idea of togetherness, right? These like communism. Soviet ideas that were one nation, one flag, one people, no classes, everybody the same. And then Chernobyl happened and you were like, that's Ukraine. I don't know, uh, that's, that's not this, that's them. That's completely different people. It's different, listen, their prostitutes go to Europe, ours stay here. It's different, it's not the same at all. We don't. Ukraine has nothing to do with Russia, okay? Except Crimea, we take Crimea. But they, Ukraine over there, you know. He makes adaptation of his jokes to, not adaptation, but he prepared. I see that he's prepared for, for this stand-up because he jokes about Russian things, Russian terms that we use uh, so much because Crimea, and Ukraine, it is kind of topics that hot topics for nowadays and politician, and not for nowadays, but for 2019, 2018, when he was doing this stand up. You don't know. Russians, you do not give a fuck. You do not care. They got yes. a forest fire in Siberia. The whole forest is on fire. And Russians are like, winter will come. You know, it's. By the way, it is so. Um, so offensive and so touchful joke because uh, while Siberia forced us we were on fire so big amount of people wrote on social media that need to save it need to save it and uh, this joke is on super on point but uh, we can laugh on it too your solution came from Game of Thrones winner is coming Oh, it's 
Kremlin. It is uh, one more place. Uh, it is on Gorky Park. You may be heard Scorpions' Wind of Chance. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Russia. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> It is a person in costume, it is not real. Okay, here we are, what up everybody? We just touched down in Russia. I'm with my man, Vladimir. What's your real name? Yeah, Vladimir, my real name. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, bro. We're learning some interesting things about my show. So you said that there are gonna be people who don't speak English at the show. Uh, yeah, and, and then we'll have translator. There's gonna be a translator. Is he on stage with me? Uh, no, he's just in a special, I don't know, cage? No, 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 like, um... You guys put people in cages too? Yeah, yeah of course. Sick. No, man. So there's, there's gonna be a little delay for some people. A little, a little. Yes, you have to, okay. um, wait <laughs> more. After right. The jokes. <laughs> it is kind of hard to, to do jokes when you need to wait. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. There's certain bits that I am very excited to tell because of this. Because you're gonna have. You're gonna. <laughs> this is gonna be good. <laughs> Here we are. Officially in Russia. Should have did my hair. I want to know what's the type of auto he is inside. Al, how you feeling? I'm good, man. We're doing it. Ah, he's maybe on Plaza Auto. It is uh, Arbat Street. We're with Katya. Katya, where are we going to eat? Okay, Katya's a little camera. Sh they are going to Arbat Street. Maybe they will eat there. Guy, what are we doing tonight, Katya? Uh, there is an interview. We're doing an interview. What's the interview for? Ah, Lotte. L Lotte Plaza. Maybe they're inside of this hotel. It is kind of inside of information. Go to another interview. Tomorrow morning? Yeah, it's like 11 should be there. Yeah, I don't know about no, all that, man. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about all that. <laughs> nah, I don't think we're doing that one. And you said there was like a blacks only water fountain? What's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this new Arbat Street. And it is, uh, wow, yes, stand-up club number one. Andrew Schultz, uh, 079 headliner. I... What you eating there, son? This is, this is Bors, this is Russia. They stopped in Teremok. Uh, not Teremok, uh, they stopped on Varenchne Vare number one, it means Dumplings, dumplings number one, Russian dumplings number one. Borscht is made with beets, onions, raw period blood, you put a little bit of sour. By the way, it is a cheap food They where they stated it's not like a super restaurant. Cream, and then there's just some Hulk cum. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, but I need to get a. I have zap, zapor or something like that, where you can't shake a ship. Zapor, where you're constipated. Do you know what that is? Wait, you know diarrhea? Yeah. The opposite. Ah, uh, zapor, yeah. Zapor, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have that. <laughs> it is uh, kind of when your shit is stopped in your uh, rectal things. So we need to go to a pharmacy and get something for my zapor. Every time I travel. Oh, I know this place. It is so um, specific place. It is Perikryostak. It is a uh, place where you can buy food. Travel, um, I get constipated, which is called Zapor in Russian. Anyway, I really gotta do something with this haircut, bro. This haircut is crazy. Like toad right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we out here in the Russian pharmacy trying to get cured. For me, for me. For me. He said, uh, I need something effective to, for this person. So I should take it Put inside of your mouth and uh, then suck it. Thank you. That shit about to come out. 
It is uh, Churchiella. Did he joke uh, in sexual way? The next morning, Kate was supposed to take Andrew to the interview. <laughs> So we missed the radio. Thanks to you, Katushki. <laughs> Katushki, it was all your fault. Some new development. <laughs> it is kind of cringe to listen to this type of speech. Kate has been fired. Yes, they are on Plaza, Lotte Plaza Otol. Is that right, Kate? It is on uh, near Smolensk Metro subway if you are interested in. We told her that you can't fire from the family, you know what I mean? So now she's just hanging. But how do you feel now that you've got some more free time on your hands, Kate? I feel that I belong. You feel that you belong, finally. Yeah. It's super hot out here. I didn't know it got this hot out here in Russia. But um, it's time to go on a boat. This is a um, severe, severe temple, severe church and bridge near it. It is Peter the Greater monument. So that was the guy that moved the, uh, the capital of Russia from Moscow to St. Petersburg. And um, he's also the first black Russian. I don't know if, if, if you guys knew that, if you guys noticed that, but that is like a very historic day. And the thing that he has in his hand, um, those were those were actually his rights to buy himself. His rights. <laughs> really funny, 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 funny. And then he moved. Where'd he move? You can see the flags on it. Where'd he move? Mark, where'd he move? Jamaica! <laughs> We are. We're They're on the Red Square. We're at St. Basil's Cathedral. Dude, if there's ever a cathedral that was used for luring in little boys, <laughs> it's gotta be this one. The Gumdrop Cathedral. Son, the Gumdrop Cathedral. <laughs> this shit was invented. <laughs> and on the ground you can find so big amount of uh, Chinese people. And what's the age? When did they do this? It is uh, 2019. Yes, 2019 it is when nothing nothing of coronavirus happened. Willy Wonka, bro. <laughs> Willy Wonka? You gotta put the flash on. Oh yeah, she has it. Now you got it. Bring it all up. Let's go all together. And with the gold teeth too? Yeah, swag. Too swag. <laughs> that's, 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 her cousin made your jacket. <laughs> you got it? First celebrity say for Alex. It was cool. She came up to us and she said, Barack Obama? Barack Obama? <laughs> Obama. No, I heard. I was like, That's your Barack Obama. No, photo? What's she saying? No, photo? She said that. Nice. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it is Metro the Subway. Deeper than in New York. It is new train, by the way, and it is black guy number six. Yes, exactly. We don't have a lot of black guys in Russia. Think we'll get to ten? Yeah. I think we'll top out at. This is my prediction. Twenty-five total black people that we see the entire trip. I'm going twenty. 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 Yeah. Taking the under. No, I think it'll be fifteen. Whoa. Whoa. He took me even under. Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, a lot of people don't know this about uh, Russia, but Russia has some of the most strict um, laws against homosexuality. Exactly, exactly. And even in 2020, it started to be really tougher, really, because uh, we have new... Jesus, mosquito. Uh, <laughs> new improvements, new cor corrections, and... Uh, it means that uh, homosexuals should not do even uh, ch children like and marriage weddings.
There's no holding hands with guys in the street. Definitely no gay relationships. Nothing at all. Um, so what we're going to do is indulge in straight heterosexual Russian culture by getting in a bath with some guys. Will they go to to bath uh, banya? It means sauna. Da. 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 <laughs> yes, so they are on this oh, sauna. Schoolboy Q, bro. <laughs> okay. You look like schoolboy queer. <laughs> Interrupt our program to bring you fashion, 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 fashion. She's always my plus one. I don't know, do you have it in Russia, uh, in your country? But it is uh, the way how we do hardening, hardening, hardening. I mean that when you mix. Hot wood, uh, hot rooms with one hundred Celsius, one hundred to one hundred twenty Celsius, and then you go to water and you do kind of baptism. Fashion, fashion, and what? Then? And what? Then? Her name's Fashion. Really? Is it uh, is it legal in uh, YouTube? Get confident. Okay. All right. We just finished the banyo. It's called the banya. Banya. What's it called? Banya. It's called the banya. Right now, we're a little bit tired, but we're gonna power through. We're going back to the hotel. Where are we gonna eat tonight, Steve? Tonight, Georgian. Oh yes, Georgian. Georgian food again. Okay. Everybody pay again. So earlier today we went from 80 to 90 percent of the people at my show speak in English, and now we're down to 25 percent. And that's not a confident 25 percent. But guys, they're going to be wearing headphones. So that's good. So one of these things doesn't look like the other. What do you mean? Ask her a little bit. Look at the plates. That's what I know. <laughs> Welcome to Russia. <laughs> they laugh a lot, uh, and Russian people don't do this. This uh, kind of up unappropriative, but drunk people do. <laughs> Eight black person. They found it in Otto. Andrew Schulz. Andrew Schulz. This accent, Andrew Schulz. On this stage, Andrew Schulz on this stage. No, nobody, no need to say fucking words. Hi, everybody. Um, do you guys understand what I'm saying? Some of you do, some of you don't. Who speaks the best English on the panel? Do you have a microphone? Yep. Okay, so you'll say it. I'll say a line, then you translate it. Okay. Okay, Putin. Putin. Good, good. So you're a nice one man set near him. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Okay. There was a picture of him on a horse. With his shirt off. And everybody was making fun of this picture. I want to show this picture. You will find it. It is so popular in Russia. Yes, here he is. Yes, this way. But. I don't think it's funny. I think it's progress. <laughs> because 
Catherine, the emperor or the queen Catherine? Королева uh, Екатерина, right. queen of England. Yeah. She used to get fucked by the horse. <laughs> and now your leaders are riding it, so that's good. He said, this is bad for your career that you're performing on open mic uh, for sell more tickets tomorrow. I know. <laughs> And uh, uh, is it true that uh, Queen was raped by a horse? No, she I don't think so. It is, uh, I think, created. She wanted it. Oh, uh, she wanted it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't know this part of Russian history? Ah, so this is was our Queen? Yeah, Queen. <laughs> it is made up joke. <laughs> I thought it was Queen of yeah. England. Oh, that's embarrassing. No. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. In England, it was a sheep. Uh, <laughs> uh, and what? Uh, and now. <laughs> uh, and now. Uh, what uh, Andrew made in his joke? Uh, yeah. Let's figure out. Fucked up, uh, f fucked, uh, up our queen. New York Jets, wow. Do we have New York Jets in Russia? I, I didn't know about it. I'm sure that's the right exercise. It keeps hitting me in my nose. Listen, I agree with Antonio Brown when he said he needed to change these helmets. These helmets are absolutely ridiculous. Are you about to kick us out of here? Only if you can catch me. Oh. Guys, NFL season is back, okay? And you know what we're gonna go gamble? We're gonna go gamble at mybookie.com. M-Y-B-O-O-K-I-E.com. All sorts of amazing things. They got this $100,000 handicapping tournament. Only costs $100 to get in. And that's right, you could win $100,000. All right, it's America. Okay, you want me to get out of here? Stiff arm, no. Okay? Mybookie.com. <laughs> because I started to be sub sub surprised. Do we have it in Russia or not? Okay, let's skip it your a bit. That's only at mybookie.com. Use our pro and <laughs>
A lot of people don't realize there's a lot of similarities between America and Russia. You know, okay. we're not that different, right? You like Russian brides, we like Russian brides, you know. <laughs> you like bombing Syria, you know. <laughs> it's fun. It's so offensive. Fun, isn't it fun, you know? Putin controls your country. Putin, you know, is, does. It's wild to be all the way over here. You know, it's cool to see different things. Most beautiful women I've ever seen in the world, hands down. Most beautiful women I've ever seen in the whole It's true. Ukrainian and Russian, they are the most beautiful. Oh, well. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Slavic woman. Until about 35. And then... Yes. Something fucking happens, man. The women here age like football players. 35? Get the fuck out of here. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys so much for having me, man. That's my time. Um, I think it's really cool what's happening here with stand-up comedy. I think that, uh, yeah, thank you, man. I think it's, like, it's, 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 it's so, it's just such a special art form and, um. Exactly, because this, uh, like, English person on a Russian stage. I know. I didn't. I didn't know be, uh, about this performance, by the way. I wish to visit it. How do I say this? I know how much Russians appreciate the arts. You know, I know on the outside you have this very grim exterior, but that's because if you smiled, they were like, "Why is he smiling? Huh? <laughs> Go kill him. He's too happy, right?" Is he... What's his smile? It's, it's too cold for smiling. Go kill him. He's going to do something. But I know how important the arts are for your culture. Obviously, the ballet, you have all these great writers, music. I know how much it means to you. And uh, it would be really cool to see you embrace stand-up comedy like you've embraced all these other art forms. So it's very special what these comics that are doing this right now. Volvo, Al, uh, Ksenia. All these people that put this thing together, support them, man. It's so cool. And I'm so grateful that you have me here. So thank you very much. Have a good night. Man. I feel really proud about Russia after this, uh, his speech, his... Jeez, I felt even, even shivers on my skin. I will show you. Can you see this? Maybe not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nice, really amazing. And do you have some comments from Russian maybe in the comment section? Okay, let's read a bit of comments, really nice. Sleep paralyzes, but it's Andrew Schultz at the end of your bed roasting you like. You're at the front row of one of gigs. I want to go to one on Andrew shows, but only the front seats are available. Next video put out will be him roasting his fellow Siberian labor camp prisoners <laughs> when they tried making fun of him in Russian, but all he did was pull out a Benjamin and killed. Yes. Why does Andrew look more Russian than most Russians? Maybe he looks he looks really like maybe a Mid East person. Mid East like maybe Turkin. Thank you a lot for watching this video. It was interesting to learn new about him and about this type of accent that he used. And uh, I really like uh, the way he spoke. And uh, if you want, you can recommend more of him. By the way, I need to do a bit of like haircut. If you want, you can recommend more of him. Thank you a lot for one viewer who recommended this video. I hope that it will not be copyrighted, because uh, I do fair use of content, it means that I 
don't it means that I don't um, I don't use this uh, content uh, and I have no intent to make it like my own okay thank you a lot for watching again and uh, see you next time be cool and never sell daily have fun <laughs>